And the winner's hove. My man. Speech. Well, uh, shout out to uh, Cameron. It's 20th anniversary of Come Home With Me. Uh, so, yeah, that was like a really, really important album in hip hop. And, like, there are songs on there that are some of like, my favorite songs ever. And, like, I always say if I was a part of one early 2000s rap crew, I would choose Dipset just because I like the swag the niggas had. They just seemed like some of the coolest niggas to me. Mm. It's that Harlem shit, I think. I'd have been G-Unit personally. See, yeah. yeah. G-Unit cool, too. I fuck with G-Unit, but it was like, Dipset had like the fucking leather jackets and the throwback jerseys. It was swag out. Jewels had the bandana on. It was swag out. Remember, I was wearing my bandana like that for a minute. I was trying it. It didn't work out. But yeah. anyway. What was your favorite song album? When did you get it? In 2002. Do you remember the way the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was called Sam Goody D's Nuts Now. Yeah. Alright, so, you know. <laughs> well, so you didn't it. have the album as a kid, so you're a poser, huh? What's wrong with you? He called that nigga Jack Q, bro. He called it. He did. 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 He Bro, I find you might as well know who the dude that died. Not that, uh, no, it wasn't Dipset though. It was like the dude from the Open Dock guy's name, somebody. Wait, like, Jay, his right? last name had Bands or Star in it. I can't Oh, he was, um, he was in Dipset. Damn, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, remember his name? Cash, Cash, Facts. Stack, stack bundles. Stack bu- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, Avon's a timeless classic. Fuck you. So, I mean, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. And Max D, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, bro. Max be still in I think we're just naming like, Dipset. So. Oh, we're naming like, Skull Max B. Nah, I think he on the no, he's still in sentence. Yeah. He about to get they on They say he's coming home, but I feel like that shit, you never know until a nigga's actually home. Hell right. right. We'll wait and see. Oh, I'm about to say. Wait, wait and see. Hell, real rap. Or was he just in the group? Oh, he gonna be releasing this shit. Oh, bro, welcome to New York City. Oh, going to come home with me. Hmm. It's like the only time we ever got Jay Z and Cameron on a song together. It's got some legendary shorty. I love it, Cameron. That's big. Went from seventy five to being on the remix. Well. I mean, yeah. Damn. When they take off some of the other charges in there, you can go home. Jeez. You just gotta get to that point. Hmm. And you gotta get a better lawyer. You know what Jr. Wright and Chrome Amos, John Rubin, Rusty Brito. What a great. Oh, song. that's his real name. Rusty Brito or Brito? <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> he took me to it. Rusty <laughs> Brito. No, no disrespect to uh, Jr. Wright. Rusty Brito. He is oh, Dominican. Dude. Oh, I bet. Oh, oh, like, I didn't know if you didn't want to be racist. I thought you said Borito. I wonder if Rusty is his real first name. I guess yeah, I agree. No, I thought Rusty was short for Russell. Oh, am I? I couldn't think of why I thought Rusty was short for oh, Russell. Rusty, not Rusty. <laughs> no, like, I feel like there's the best white people in there. Name Rustin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel mean, like they yeah. they show with they're like the fifth Rustin. Oh, bro, Rustin, bro, Rustin, upper crust the fifth. Rustin, upper crust. Rustin Vanderbilt. They definitely were billionaires in industrial age. Oh, family. He goes to Vanderbilt University. Because their family started Vanderbilt University. Shout out to Rusty. Vanderbilt. How do I even get J.R. Ryder from her? All right, so I'm going to give her a toast next. I'm going to talk how we got that. I'll go next. Um, I want to give a shout out to Kendrick Lamar, um, who just released his album. Um, why am I blanking? What the Mr. Morale and the Big Mr. Steppers. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, baby. Mm. Like, just, big Steppers. My, big the reason for my shout out, there's a lot of reasons to shout, uh, shout out K-Dot, um, but one of the most uh, mm. biggest reasons is, like, I just respect his creative process, like, one thing about his projects, like, and this might just be me in my, like, in my opinion, but like, it always takes me a few listens to kind of get where he's coming from, or to really even gauge what the album is saying. Like, I always compare one analogy I give is like, uh, Kendrick Lamar comes out like rapid fire, like machine gun style, and then when you look at what he's shooting at, this nigga literally just painted a whole portrait of what he's trying to say. Mm. And then you come back two years later, you break down that wall, you see behind that he also painted another picture. So. He's really just a really one of the most creative uh, rappers in hip hop. Also, just love his style, how he keeps a low profile, like he kind of keeps his family out of the public spotlight, and he seems really family oriented. This uh, the album cover with his family is really, I think, might have been one of the first pictures I've seen of like all his whole family all together. I keep forgetting what his wife looks like, but that was the first time I've seen them all together. So really, just salute to him. Like I always say, if I was famous in any on any level, I would kind of strive for that, where you can come out of hiding, so to speak, and then just, like, come out on top every single time. So really just salute them. Shout out to Lil Enoch. Yeah, shout out to Lil Enoch. Yeah, I really enjoyed that album. It was, I've listened to it, like, five straight times in a row. You kind of have to. Really, it's really, I just really enjoyed it. Usually when albums come out, again, anxiety to try to, like, oh, God, listen to this whole thing. But that one was pretty easy to listen to. Really enjoyed it. It was really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Kendrick. And also, J.R. Ryder actually has released two um, albums. <laughs> He's released two albums. Yeah, and songs. on another note, to, and the continuation. No, because you're, no, you're giving your toast next, and I think you would like to know that J.R. Ryder released two Tory Lanez diss tracks in 2019. 
Wow. Did you know that? Oh, we got to respond. Yeah. Like, like, now that we know, now yeah, we got to respond. One called Headshot and one called Run Toward Run. What did they re- <laughs> run? I have no idea what the beef is about. What they released on, like, LimeWire? <laughs> run run Toy Run. He put that shit on that pill. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> run Toy Run is a picture of Tory Lanez in one of the red coats from the uh, Revolutionary <laughs> War. They're called the Tories. That shit was, that shit was what is it called? Run Toy Run? Yes. Huh. Okay. He uh, tried it. I know it would be. Now, nah, but we about to make a track called Paul Revere. Yeah. The <laughs> British is coming. We're going to fuck you up. Fact. All right. So, mine is more on a political take. Um, I'm going to give a special toast to uh, Jen. Help me with the last name. Saki. But Saki? Saki. Saki? Yeah. The P part is Saki. The P is Saki. Just say Saki. It's like song. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big, what I want to say, political guy as I used to be, but when I always watched any type of. Um, Briefing, if I was watching news or I was watching CNN, the way that she like holds herself when it comes to um, not taking anything, you know, people are always trying to throw shots at Biden. Tell people who she is. She is the White House <laughs> Secretary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. Yeah. fucking press secretary? Like former. Nobody knows former. Well, former. Former. White House um, she there. left. Her last day was on uh, May thirteenth, twenty twenty two. Obviously, you want with the, I the hours or something. Context. I think you don't know her face. I don't know people her name. So. Oh yeah, but um, the no, biggest thing with her was was to, her goal was to reestablish a, a tone of respect in the briefing room um, prior to uh, her administration or her run as a press secretary. There's always been some type of controversy or back and forth between um, reporters and um, you know news reporters and the, the briefing room. Mm-hmm. She strove, she stri- strived for more transparency. Um, she's always had some good clapbacks. And I've always thought was some good favorite moments while still trying to be respectful at the same time. Um, but, you know, I'm pretty sure she'll probably get another gig, maybe be in the next uh, Rachel Mad- Maddow or one another. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to say she has another job. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good for her! <laughs> well, yeah, mine go to Jen. Sick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she. I think she did a decent job. I always feel like the press secretary. You're always just kind of a propagandist <laughs> to, to, to some degree. But mm-hmm. she was. She, she did good. She did good. Shout out to her. Isn't there like a black queer woman that's gonna be next? Time? Is it not the lady Samoa? Yeah. It was Karen Jean Pierre. Oh, oh. Well, don't we have like a black lady who does it sometimes too? Though? I get lost. I quit watching those. Yeah, after Trump left office, I didn't hear any smoke. Not in the mean way. It was those press things were wild. They were musty TV. Oh no, I'm lying. That's not gonna thinking about. But okay. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give my toast to you know just uh, just um <laughs> somebody that I you know have a lot of admiration for. You know, we've just um done a lot for the, the culture and the community, and uh, they just recently uh, uh completed a milestone. And it's just really great. They've just done a lot for the world, and you know I'm gonna give my toast to Baby Geek and Leak. We just got engaged, so. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. I was like, the suspense is killing yeah. me. Who the fuck is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I'm about to step in and say, thank you for talking about me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Salute. Oh, there was the sound of him puckering and kissing Lee's head. Oh, oh, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I was trying to tip my head and I where I was going. Yeah, I was like, where is this going? I was like, who is this culture? Is it Max B? He's facing our IG post. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Put right next to Jeff Pasaki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right next to him. He got to give me a photo with. I got my arm around. Yeah. Can we do something with a Photoshop? Yeah, sure. Right. But yeah, congratulations, Blake. Um, it's a regular yeah. milestone. Good yeah, job, man. Big milestone, man. Yeah, yeah. Big mountains. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. A whole round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Big mountains. Yeah. Any words? Big mountains. Um, words. Uh, man, I couldn't really find them last week, but. Now that I have, um, it's a, it was an amazing experience um, to be able to get on one knee to, you know, ask the love of my life to to marry me, to be engaged to me, to be my fiance. Um, I was trying to, a lot of people gave me a lot of advice, um, you know, but I blacked out. I don't even know what I said, but I know it was more so in with it was perfect. Marry me, you know yeah, what I mean? And it was great, you know what I mean? That's all you need to say. I was able to have a family there, we were able to have our family there. It was a great time. It was a surprise too, which is always adds a little spice to it. So it was great. Congratulations. That's that's awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Damn, that's smooth.